Hey, what's up everybody? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com and today we are learning how to play guitar and sing at the same time. Melody is composed of two elements. The actual note, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, and the rhythm. To learn how to play guitar and sing at the same time, the most important thing at first is to master these concepts of rhythm with something I call keywords. Keywords are the words that happen on the chord changes. By identifying these keywords and practicing them with their chord changes, it'll make singing a billion times easier. 10 billion times. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and break down exactly what a keyword is. So what we're gonna do is identify exactly what a keyword is, how to match it to its chords, how to add a strum pattern, and some other things that you may encounter that'll give you problems while learning to sing. PDF for this lesson by becoming a Patreon and all our previous lessons, it will accelerate your learning cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. With new guitar tutorials every single Monday, make sure to hit that subscribe and never learn a lesson. Ten Thumbs t-shirts up there as well. Skype Lessons 101 if you're interested. But if you came just because you want to figure out how to sing and play at the same time without everything crumbling and falling apart, that's cool. I dig it and I respect it. Grab your guitar. Brain and attention span. You got those three things? Follow me on in and let's go ahead and break this one down. Let's do it. Cool. So we're going to teach you how to sing and play at the same time today. This lesson will not be focused on the melody or teaching you how to actually sing the melody, but more focused in timing and how to sing and strum at the same time. If you are interested in improving your ability to sing along with the melody, in all honesty, I'd recommend a vocal coach, someone local, because um, that can be a little more of a journey. This is just going to get you jamming right away, okay? So you need to understand a process called keywords. And keywords are the words that happen on the particular chord changes. They're kind of like mile markers, or if you're doing a treasure hunt, they're kind of like clues that lead you to the next one. So if we think of a song like Riptide, for example, the chord progression goes A minor, G, and C. Okay? And the lyric goes, I was scared of dentist in the dark. Right? So what we got to know is where and how do those words correspond with the changes on our guitar? Well, I will happen over the A minor. So I was scared of dentist. Dentist is our keyword here. And dark is our keyword here. So the first thing you're going to do is sing it with no strum pattern. I was scared of dentist in the dark. Cool. The next line, next keyword is I again, pretty, and starting. So again, no strum pattern. I was scared of pretty girls in starting conversations. So we put those two phrases together. We get, I was scared of dentists in the dark. I was scared of pretty girls in starting conversations. Oh, all oh, my friends are turning green. Okay, something interesting happens in the next phrase. O oh, is not our keyword, correct? So O oh happens before the change. You'll see that fairly common that not all of your changes are gonna line up perfectly with the next line in a song. Sometimes they're a little earlier or sometimes they're a little later. As is the example here when it goes, Oh, all my friends are turning green. And again, the next line, notice how he goes, You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. So that you're the, it happens actually before the A minor. That's really important to know, everybody, because that's going to improve your timing dramatically. If I were to sing, Oh, all my friends are turning green. You're the magician's assistant in the dreams. And sing those words and not know that they're going to happen before the chord change, it's going to make it quite a bit more complicated. Okay, so if we put all four of those lines together, we get, I was scared of dentists in the dark. My foot is tapping as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You, you want in the back of your head at least your foot moving up and down so you're at the minimum mi mildly aware of the timing that you've got going on, okay? I was scared of dentists in the dark. 
I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations Oh, all my friends are turning green You're the magician's assistant in their dreams ah, ooh. Okay, okay, for our strum pattern we're gonna go, let's make an A minor and we'll do it nice and slow. It's gonna go two downs and then down, up, down, up. Like down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. And we're gonna play it nice and smooth, one time on A minor, one on G, and two on C. Now this is probably starting to feel like a rip type tutorial, but it's not, okay? I just wanted to illustrate a couple of these songs. We're gonna look at some other tunes too. But these are the order that you would go in. At first, identify the keywords, then no strum pattern, and then you add a strum pattern. I was scared of dentists in the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. So all Friends are turning green. You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. And then once I feel really comfortable with that, the next thing I'm gonna actually do is go listen to the song and I would listen to each phrase or each line he sings one by one and really start to try to work out the melody and sing it in tune. But you gotta get the timing first. Um, Let's look at another example really quick of something maybe a little more tricky, like... Some people call me the space cowboy, yeah. Some people call me the gangster of love. There's some other things going on in here that's a little trickier. For example, you're going to start strumming before the G. So the G doesn't actually even have a keyword. When that's the case, the keyword in the next chord is going to be much more important, which in this case is call. So you're going to need to be able to go, Some people call me, alright? Some people call me, some people call me, some people call me, alright? And you're going to really have to practice that change because the G doesn't have a keyword. So the G to the C and getting this keyword on the C is what's going to set you up to keep you in time. Then it says cowboy. Here's another interesting thing. Sometimes the word will start before the change and a later syllable in the word will land on your keyword. So here it's not even technically not even a keyword, it's a key syllable because it's cowboy and B is where you're coming in with the D. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Then after you get those changes, you'd start to put them to the strum pattern. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Some people call me the gangster of love. In my strum pattern, I'm just using something similar. Um, again, it's not a Steve Miller band tutorial. It's just an example of some other things you might run into when identifying the keywords. When you go and see a song sheet at ultimateguitar.com, for example, or there's a lot of other websites out there, the chords are going to be over your keyword. Double check, give that a listen to make sure they're right, because sometimes they're not always right. And identifying those keywords is really going to help you learn to sing and play at the same time. Some people call me the space cowboy, yeah. Some people call me the gangster of love. We've done um, Riptide and Space Cowboy up here. We've done Riptide and the Steve Miller Band. The Joker, we've done them both up here. You can check them out. The Joker's got that cool bass line going to it as well. Print a PDF with this and all our lessons if you want to become a patron. Support the guitar learning. New guitar lessons every single Monday. Thank you for watching. Skype Lessons 101 if you're interested. And enjoy singing. And if people tell you you suck, it doesn't matter because you're going to at first. Don't let that get into your head as much as I have. It can take the fun out of it. And the whole idea is just to have fun, folks. Alright, everybody. 
the first time that I've ever said suck on 10 thumbs and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Take care of yourselves. Cool, so that covers all the rhythm aspects. The next thing you really gotta learn is the melody. I am just embarking on this journey myself and as I teach myself and figure out how to do this, I will develop a clear and concise plan for you to figure out how to take your singing to the next level as well. So let's take that, let's take that step together. You and me, what do you say? All right, everybody, new guitar every single Monday. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep on rocking, keep on rolling, keep on loving life.